I was raised Catholic, but had no spirituality in my life. Um, I believed in God, but didn't have any understanding of Him. Um, I couldn't. I never opened up a Bible. As an adult, my life started spiraling down, and uh, if I didn't do something, I felt I would lose all that I had. I asked my wife to find a church that would be a good fit for me. We started coming to Valley about seven years ago. To say I was a little overwhelmed would be an understatement. Uh, there was uh, such a buzz going on at the church. Everybody was hugging and kissing, and you know you could tell that everybody truly cared for each other. It was uh, something different than I've ever experienced in my life before. Listening to Pastor Jay, he was so charismatic, but as charismatic as he was, um, I still had, didn't have any connection. I was still, within a half an hour, I'd be head bobbing. You know, my wife would give me a sharp elbow into the side, and she was just totally mortified. And I couldn't blame her. Um, I'd see people taking notes, and I'd be thinking, you know, what's that all about? I still felt like my, my, you know, my life had no meaning. I still felt empty. I still had that hole. I just felt like I was still going down the same bad paths as I had, you know, my whole life. So Marcia suggested that I go talk to someone at, at the church. When I got here, I met with Tom Desmond, who was a counseling pastor here at the church, and I talked to him on how I just didn't like living my life the way I'd been living it. And he said, um, he goes, you know, Mike, he's there, you, you know, you're never going to be able to conquer your sin on your own. He goes, you know, God has a plan for me and that he loves me. And the only way to do that was um, uh, through, you know, through his son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for my sins. And at that point, I, I felt such a relief. I felt, I felt, you know, it wasn't all up to me anymore. God was going to, you know, help me with this. July 9th, 2011, um, I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, and my searching was over. Now I have a special meaning in my life, and that's um, to tell people about Jesus. Um, I know when we all become Christians, we have that strong feeling of the Holy Spirit, you know, in our bodies, and, uh, you know, we just want to tell everybody about it. You, you think that spark will never dim, but it does, and I think uh, we all have to find our own way to tell people about Jesus. Now, um, I cut hair for a living, and basically my chair is my pulpit, and uh, I have a captive audience, literally. Uh, wouldn't you uh, listen to a guy with a pair of scissors to your head? You know, I have some great conversation. I never like anyone beating me over the head with religion. Basically, I just talk about my faith, and you know, I talk to all kinds of people. I talk to priests, rabbis, uh, atheists. They all listen to me. I think they see the Holy Spirit burning inside me, uh, even though they might not know what that is. They see that I've, I've been truly touched, and uh, you know, they're happy for me and we shake hands and we had a good conversation and I know I planted a seed at that point. Now I'm in church for a 9.30 service, 11 o'clock community. Uh, I help uh, facilitate a group in um, uh, Alpha and uh, attend men's ministry. Uh, if anybody ever told me seven years ago I'd be spending that much time with God, I would say, yeah, when hell freezes over, I guess it's getting cold down there. I've learned um, a spiritual walk is not about the church, uh, it's not about the pastors or the parishioners. Um, uh, my true spiritual walk is uh, with God through His Word, the Bible, and uh, Jesus Christ. With that being said, if it wasn't for our blessed church here, the parishioners and the pastors here who are always here to facilitate any questions that we have, I would not be here today. And uh, lastly, I just want to praise God for my wife, Marsha, because without her love and her patience and her prayer, I wouldn't have the life that I have now. And uh, she truly is, she truly is my angel on this earth. God bless you all.